Hello everybody, welcome to today's message, Sermon on the Go. Uh, today's Sermon on the Go is taken from the Gospel of Mark, Mark chapter 10 verses 15. Let's hear the reading of God's word. Truly I tell you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will never enter it. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The background to this story is that Jesus is sitting with his disciples. And as they sit together, the children were coming to Jesus. And the disciples were trying to rebuke the children not to come to Jesus. Uh, it was a normal practice in those days, in Jesus' day, for parents and moms and dads to bring their children to the rabbis and the teachers of the law and the scribes for a blessing. So here, the parents were bringing children to Jesus for Jesus to bless them. The disciples were blocking their way. Jesus rebuked the disciples. And after he rebuked the disciple, he blessed the children. After that, he said this to the disciples. Truly I tell you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will never enter it. Brothers and sisters, everybody who is watching me now, I want to bring to your attention that there is a God. There is God of this universe. He became incarnate in Jesus Christ and lived here among us and went about and ministered among us over 2,000 years ago. There is heaven and there is hell. It is real. So I want to challenge you today. I want to bring to your attention that if you do not accept the kingdom of God as a little child, then you are in danger of not entering the kingdom of God. Jesus says it plainly here. Whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will not enter it. Now, why did he say that if you don't receive the kingdom of God as a little child? Because children believe everything their parent tells them. <laughs> I have a child. His name is Martin. And almost everything I say to him, he believes it. Although most of it is true. As some of it is not entirely true. For example, in my relationship with Martin, there is a lot of things he wants to buy from Amazon. So currently, in Martin's basket, there is a product and item to the tune of 2,500 pounds. Now, Martin believes that those items will be delivered by Amazon. Poor Martin. But that is what Jesus is talking about. Martin believes, and from time to time, I will buy one or two things which will be delivered from Amazon. So he believes everything I tell him about that. That is what Jesus is talking about here. We have to reduce our intellect with our academic, with all the doctor, doctor degree, the PhD, the DDD, whatever it is, however far you've gone in your academic, however intellectual you are, brothers and sisters, Jesus is saying today that unless you become in your thinking like a little child and understand the kingdom of God in that way, you will never enter it. So what Jesus is saying to you and I today is this. Humble yourself and bring your knowledge to the level of a child who believes everything their parent tells them. When it comes to the things of the kingdom of God, when it comes to the things of the Christian faith, reduce your thinking particularly to the biblical test. Reduce your thinking to the level of a child Read it and understand it. Let the Holy Spirit minister to your heart. Let God himself work in you the hope of salvation. Until you do that, you are in danger of not entering the kingdom of heaven. Since there is heaven and there is hell, I want to work hard and follow God. Be a disciple of Jesus Christ. Follow his principle so that when I die from this transitory world, I will go and be with the Lord Jesus Christ. 
So my message to you today is this. Unless you become as a little child and accept the gospel of Jesus Christ and accept the kingdom of God and accept what is written in the narrative of the gospels, the Old Testament and the New Testament, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Brothers and sisters, if you are not a Christian, I encourage you and I invite you to become a Christian. If you don't know how to do that, there are vicars up and down the country. Pick up a phone and ring any of them. If you live in my area, South End and the Eastwood, pick up the phone and ring me. I will lead you to Jesus Christ. As you become as a little child and accept and understand the kingdom of God and its righteousness, you are not assured of heaven. In order to be assured of heaven, in order to make sure that when you die from this world, you are going to heaven and you are going to be with the Lord, you need to know that you are a disciple of Christ. You need to follow Jesus Christ and accept his principles. Read the biblical text. Receive the kingdom of God as a little child. Then heaven is assured for you. Then God says that you will enter heaven and you will come and be with him. There is heaven and there is hell. It is real. It is not a fabricated story. It is real. So when you die, there is judgment. And if you want to know that that judgment will be favorable to you, then my brother, my sister, believe in Jesus Christ. Confess your sins because he is faithful and just and he will forgive you all your sins. You become a follower of Christ and heaven will be assured for you. This day, Jesus is saying to you, Truly I tell you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will by no means enter it. So this day, as you go about your business, as you lead your daily life, I want you to remember that there is heaven and there is hell. Believe in Jesus. Believe in God. And you will go and be with him when you die. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, this Thursday, we will have our midweek Holy Communion in church. Everybody is welcome to join us with our midweek Holy Communion. You will be blessed when you come. We have put things in place for your safety. So you will be blessed when you come and join us. May the Lord bless you as you consider that. I will see you on Thursday in person. <laughs> Shalom, peace.